A massive uptick in sports betting takes place in Maryland. According to lottery officials, Marylanders wagered more than $219 million in the month of November. That includes $186 million placed over the phone during a nine-day period. Now, this report comes nearly three weeks since online sports betting officially went on live, went live in Maryland. We're joined right now by John Martin, the director of Maryland Lottery and Gaming. John, thank you for joining us. Sure, Kai. How are you? I'm, I'm pretty good. $186 million wagered in nine days. It's a lot of money. It is. You know, it was the perfect storm on the mobile front, uh, Kai. You know, we had a pent up demand. Marylanders had spent over a year waiting for mobile betting. Uh, we had seven very eager sports books competing for market share that invested heavily in advertising and free promotional play. And finally, we had a very, very willing sports calendar. We had great events over the last few days in November from four NFL dates, college rivalry week, World Cup, hockey, base, basketball, uh, a, a lot of betting options for people. Uh, John, listen, I'm, and I know you don't represent, obviously, the, uh, the casino, so to speak, or, or those who are doing the wagering. This is great for those companies, whether it's FanDuel or, or DraftKings or, or whoever else are the companies that do this. What do Marylanders get out of this who are risking their money? Well, first of all, there's the there's the, the winning of those bets. There were over 86 percent of the money uh, spent was won back by by Maryland players. Um, the tax revenues will come over time. Uh, the legislation allows for free promotional wagers um, in this first full year of operation. So eventually, our regulations will cap that at a 20 percent. Um, uh, cap for promotional spend. So it's going to take us several months to stabilize the market before we actually see the true returns for the uh, Maryland Education Fund. Right. And, and John, we know that there was uh, $63 million in promotional play, and the promotional plays will be ending next year. Uh, tell us about that and how you think this will affect sports betting in the future in the state. Well, certainly we have to look at it over time, uh, Kai, and, and there, there will be a, a softening in the marketplace. This is not sustainable. The sports books will tell you that. Uh, we have several months to get and find a, a common ground. The sports books will, will limit their promotional spend. Our 20% cap will kick in, and then we'll see probably the returns as we expect for the uh, Blueprint for Maryland Future Fund somewhere in the 20 to $30 million range on an annual basis, but we're several months away from that. John, is it too late for the small entrepreneur who might have an idea, an app or something that they think will work out uh, to be a part of this from the entrepreneur side? We had 21 applications for mobile licenses, Kai. We have seven in place. So we still have 14 people okay. to get up and running on the mobile side. And that will come over the next several months. So it is very, very uh, possible that someone will have an opportunity to get in there. All right. John Martin. John, thank you very much. Thank you, Kai. Absolutely. Again, we've been speaking with John Martin, the director of Maryland Lottery and Gaming.